Greetings, programs. Welcome back. I know some people have been having some uh, sound issues, but I think I've got them fixed. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. It's me. We get to see the bat cave. Oh. Nice. Batmobile looks awesome. So does the cave for that matter. Episode 1. Hockey Pants. Oh. Realm of Shadows. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in. Oh, he kept the tickets. Hey, it's Jack Ryder. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. That creeper. So, oh, retrieve the data drive. So now we have control of uh, Bruce here. DA Dent pressures mayor to decry vigilantes. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent calls upon the mayor's office to take a public stand against the wave of vigilante action sweeping the streets. Mayor Hill cannot expect the DA's office to prosecute cases on any criteria other than the law, said Dent at a City Hall press conference. Dent has taken a firm stand against vigilantism in Gotham from the uptick in citizen-led shootings to the costumed superhero Batman. Dent is currently enjoying a surge in popularity with one of the lowest criminal backlog index indexes in the state. His groundbreaking Victims Assistance Program was part of the platform that drove the most recent successful bid for re-election since becoming Gotham's youngest district attorney at the age of 26. Police Lieutenant Tapped to Lead Task Force. So this is back when he's Lieutenant Gordon, not Commissioner Gordon. So this is relatively very early in uh, this version of Batman's career. Gotham Police Commissioner Peter Grogan appointed the Lieutenant James Gordon to lead a major task force after criminal chatter in the Gotham underworld recently increased to an alarming degree. In a press conference earlier today, Lieutenant Gordon insisted that we are aware of nefarious elements appearing and mobilizing in mass in our city. At present, they are unknown, but not unnoticed. We will find them. Gordon earned an honorable discharge from the USMC before joining the GCPD and has quickly risen through the ranks. He has frequently stated that the Marine Corps, Corps made him the man he is today. And then Wayne Enterprises funds Arkham Asylum replacement. The charitable arm of Wayne Enterprises, headed by Robert and Regina Zellerbach, has announced funding for a new mental care facility to replace the outdated Arkham Asylum. For years, the asylum has made headlines for its inhumane approach to patient treatment and its violent, oftentimes deadly, prisoner escapes. But soon, that will no longer be the case. The Thomas and Martha Memorial Hospital, as it will be called, will offer a mixture of maximum security confinement with modern mental health care practices to truly heal those who are suffering. Ambitious plans are already underway to transfer current Arkham inmates as soon as construction completes and implement a critical program of rehabilitation and release. Yeah, I'm sure that'll go well. And then the main screen... Vesper Fairchild. More on this after the break. Mayor Hill says he's tough on crime. Hmm. Okay. Not gonna listen to political ads here. And we got the data port. That's probably for this. Nearly fell off a building for this. I need that chair for my office. Find out what was so important. Damn, 
encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in hmm. front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Oh, that's cool. Holographic technology? This is a map of the east side shoreline. Could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much mm. harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> and it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. I really like this version of Alfred. No, people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Gotham feed, use the codex to look up info on the cat burglar. Codex entries. Oh, these are all the uh, founders of Wayne Enterprises, my parents. Dad was a physician, mom was a philanthropist. They worked tirelessly to help the less fortunate, setting up numerous charities and expending their vast resources to improve the city and its citizens. Murdered in an attempt at robbery by a man known as Joe Chill, deceased. Alfred Pennyworth. Faithful, patient, ever helpful Alfred. He's been a part of the family my whole life. He raised me when my parents were murdered and guided me when I thought I was lost. He's my butler, my confidant, and the most secret weapon in my arsenal. He complains frequently about my nightly activities, but he's still there to patch me up when I need it. Harvey Dent. A new friend in the best district, district attorney Gotham City has seen in years. His political ambitions have always been as big as his ego, and now he's hoping to become mayor. He's got so many great ideas for how to save this city. I think it'll be good for Gotham, but I have to steer him down the right path to get there. He's too easily swayed by anyone with power, regardless of their murky morality. Hamilton Hill. Now, we haven't met Hamilton yet. Exhibit A in What's Wrong With This City. Hill should have been thrown out of office years ago, but he's got his hands wrapped around Gotham's government in a death grip. He's been suspected of numerous crimes, but there's never been anyone, or has never been enough to make any of it stick. He's rotten to the core, and one day this city will realize it. Harvey's out there doing his best, and hopefully this upcoming election will be the end of Hill's corrupt administration. Founder. Cat burglar. Crimes, burglary, and petty larceny. New criminal on the scene, tied to several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. I bet you do, Bruce. James Gordon. He's a good by-the-book cop in a department that doesn't trust Batman. He was recently tapped to lead the major crimes task force. An impressive promotion, so he's doing something right. I think it could be a trustworthy and reliable source of info, but I'll need to cultivate that relationship. He's a family man, so he's not willing to take necessary risks on the street. That's fine. I'll take the risks. Vicky Vale. 
One of the Gazette's most ambitious and competent reporters. I've read her stuff, and some of it can be a bit tabloid, but her passion for the truth is undeniable. She's been with the paper for a while, covering all kinds of beats. Someone like that has the kind of access others would kill for. She might even hear more about what's going on in Gotham than I do. One day, I may need to find out what she knows. And Carmine Falcone, Skyline club owner. The worst kind of gangster, one who tries to mingle with high society. He seems to have his hands in everything, including smuggling, real estate, bribery, and fraud. I could haul him to jail, but he'd walk the next day. I could shut down one operation, but two would pop up in its place. His empire is vast and multi-layered. Finding hard, admissible evidence is required for a conviction. And 10 million people live in Gotham right now. And stuff on buildings, nothing that important. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That but Bruce would have nothing to say. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself, and not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You know what, Al's right though. You're right, you're right. I should have canceled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay, I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. By the way, Alfred in the bat suit would be terrifying. For the criminal that is. It's been what, twenty years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed, you two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. So I is this Penguin? Now, I I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but... <laughs> it's the fun kind The Cobblepots and the Waynes would both. have interacted being in high Even money. You and young Master Cobblepot used to be close. I'd advise you to Oh, there we go. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his past... So, we're dealing with a young penguin very similar to the Gotham TV series. You expect him to be kind of short and portly. But... Cobblepot Park. This is gonna be interesting. Is he going to be... British? Is he going to speak... with an American accent? Because the Penguin is probably one of the Batman villains that's gone through the most kind of changes. Where are you, Oz? Looks like this park has definitely seen better days. Thank you, sir. It sounds like it's that's something Bruce would do.
tell you the truth, though, I'm surprised that he's not in a little bit more of a disguise. <sighs> Great. There's the statue, but no eyes. Now, the statue looked interesting. That looked more like a traditional version of the penguin that we all know and love. Hi there, guy. Hey. Beat it. He's a pleasant fellow. Black. Well, it isn't what it used to be. So apparently Penguin's dad was George C. Scott. Because that looks exactly like him. Watch Wallet Cash. This goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. Mm -hmm. The hell are you waiting for? Huh? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. End him. End him? Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh, in the moment! Come here! I think that'll do! Wow. So they kept him English. Stay down! A nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh, ow. It's not going to do that face any favors. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Hey, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh... Uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Hmm. Now all I got is this park. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. 
Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... All it takes is a little push. It'll be true to watch him in pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. This is a really interesting take a on Oswald Cobblepot. Is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, hmm. it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? Let's take a dark a turn. I have great for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. So is Penguin in this version going to be similar to Bane in The Dark Knight Rises? He's going to lead that kind of revolution. Press conference for new hospitals start soon. Car waiting on south side of the park. Alfred's always there. So this version of Penguin is pretty much a hybrid of all the other versions that we've seen. Um, he's British, very similar to the ones portrayed in the Ark Arkham games. He's skinny like the one on the Arkham TV show. I'm wondering where that's going to go from here. Now, I believe that is Arkham, and if so, that is an amazing design for Arkham Asylum. Nice. Got to make an entrance. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. I wonder if Vicky's here. I assume she would be. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> well, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for Why does Alfred need to talk? crude, its security lacking, and the rate of death and suicide inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> Something's going on. But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Hmm. For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible. But inside, they're suffering. Hmm. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, 
My parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. <clears throat> Who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Let's keep on being inspirational. With this facility and our next mayor, we change Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? The... I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable. Put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, like wants to go again. Mark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. Hmm. Well, I think Mr. Falcone is a voter just like anyone else in this city. He came to learn about Harvey Dent. cool here. Your next mayor. Next question. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? I gotta read the text, because this is important. Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Whoa. Hmm. And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! Is That's convenient. Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations They see blood in the water. Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from Now, what was this out. about the police please, at the mansion? The civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Oh, crap. <laughs> 